Hello everyone. This video is about the DIY fields module which also known as the user defined fields. Make sure you have this module before you try to use this features. This is to allow users to add some extra information, which is related to their business industry. Let's start. Go to Tools, DIY, SQL Control Center. Double click on the account book. Click inside the business object. Then you will see the breakdown. Let's say for example, today we are going to add some fields in invoice. Click on the sales, then click on the sales invoice. As you can see, there is header fields and item field. Let me explain to you what is the difference between this two field. Without DIY fields. As you see in the invoice now. Is the standard invoice document without any additional fields. No matter is on the header or item part. With DIY fields. Header fields are the additional information that you would like to add on for this transaction. For example, in shipping industry, they will need extra information like vessel number, shipper, consignee and so on. Item fields will be called out from the field chooser. For example on the screen will be length and width. Item fields are the extra information that needed to be record for the specific item. So, let's start. Click on the header field. Name is the field name and only allow for alphanumeric and no spacing. Data type means types of the field. Later we will further explain on this. Size is the field size and only applicable for float, integer and string data type. Subsize normally is the decimal point, only applicable for float data type. Caption is the name to be shown at user interface. Required is to tell the system this field must not empty. Default value will be the value to insert on new record. Display format is to set format for float, currency and integer data type. Now, let's proceed to the data type explanation. Boolean type is for Boolean value of true or false. Currency data type is for currency values which allow up to maximum 4 decimals point. Date data type is for user to key in a date value. Float data type is numbers with fixed length of decimal point behind. Integer data type is the whole number without decimals. Memo data type is for long length of text. Picture data type is for user to insert picture. String data type is for user to key in fixed length of text which is up to 8192 bytes. URL data type is a web address which is a link to a web resource. Now, let's us start to create some header fields. First one, we can create a string field for port number with size 20. Then, add a new field shipper with size 100. Now, we can try to add in one date field for arrival date. Last one, can show you the memo data field, add in the field for description of goods. When you are done, click on the save button. After you done create the header fields, then we need to go to create a form to show out the fields. Right click on the sales invoice, then select new quick form. Key in the form name, for example, more. Double click on the form. Click on the customize button. Pull the fields that you created to the left side under the root. Then save the form. Now we can go to your invoice to have a look on the result. New. More. So these are the layout that you create. Now, we can proceed to item fields. We can create two float data type with sub size 2 for length. Then width. Now we can go to your invoice to have a look on the result. Item fields will need to be called out from the field chooser. That's all for this video. Thank you. Subscribe to our YouTube for the latest video. Follow our Facebook for the latest update. Go to our website for reports and guides. It's so easy.